What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Verest, and welcome back to the video where today we will be going through two places in Windcraft that definitely need some more talk, some more love about the amazing build quality of the two places, and I have, okay, so the first one is going to be pretty obvious, but the second one, I don't think y'all would ever guess this place, okay, just letting you know, I don't think you would ever guess this place, so I'm calling it now, um, yeah, anyway, so, but before we get into the first one, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button and all this fun stuff. Thank you guys so much. We are over 450 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, let's just get right into it. The first place, as you see, standing around me, is the ruined Omic City, and most importantly, really, the cathedral here. Um, people don't really talk about it too much because it's not even a city that it's kind of you just pass through but the build quality i mean look they had to stick with dark colors because it's supposed to be like a ruined uh like just like empty desolate city right but goodness gracious did they do a great job at it look at that it's so huge and like they still were able to like very well like make a complex designs with just grays right everything is all gray um but it's ve still very complex with the design i mean look at that that's a gigantic entrance and like there's like people holding a sword statues right it's like it looks so cool is that like supposed to be a villager i'm not sure what that's supposed to be it's someone standing up it looks so cool um, and I think that people don't really talk enough uh, enough about this place like sure they're, they're like oh yeah you know it's cool and then they pass on with it but there's it's there's so much here like it's such a gigantic city and people are just kind of like yeah well you know it exists but it only exists really for for one or two quests so it's like not really much I guess to people's eyes um, but there's so much to look at I mean l look at this bro like I know I know it's just a random tower out in the middle of nowhere doing literally nothing um, But it looks so cool and of course the grand entrance to it itself. Ooh, is there anything down here? Did, did they put anything down here? Wait a second No, they didn't um, I guess that is one of the sad things. There's very few secrets in this area. There are a few but very very few secrets um, What's it called? Whoa, and of course the mobs around here are absolutely insane. An omnispective wanderer that looks sick, and this grand entrance looks amazing. This this again a little domed place of here looks super cool. And like the Dernick uh rock, um this little cave around here, dude. This place looks amazing. And people do not talk about it. Oh, there is a little lower area here. And, and again, another another key here. Now, the key you can get from killing a certain type of mob. And if you open it up, it'll open up a tier 4 chest or a tier 3 chest in here. Um, so that's kind of what the purpose of that is. Um, and that's if, if you're going around looting. That's kind of the purpose for it. And then you come over to the other side of the city and check it out. It's, it's again, it's a lot of the same. Um, but it is a very well-made city. And it definitely needs the attention uh, that it doesn't necessarily receive. Um, so yeah, that is my opinion on this place. Now let us go. Okay, I'm very excited about this because this place, I don't think... I've never heard anyone ever, ever, ever even talk about this. I've never heard anybody talk about this. I've played for years and not once has anybody ever mentioned this. Um... And I've never even, like, seen it until today. Think about it. I've explored most of the map at this point. I've seen most of the map. What is it that I haven't seen? Well, let me show you. My friends, that is the Canyon Settlement. Okay? Honestly, all the settlements around here are kind of cool. But this, this one in particular, I love this canyon settlement it incorporates a lot of what Almuj was supposed to be that desert city but because this is up here in the canyon um, it does have a bit more of a red aesthetic to it I do like the green roofs makes it feel different from the rest of the canyon and it's got uh, just a beautiful overlook on every single side um, and it's it feels so homely 
you know? It feels homely. It feels involved. There's these bridges attached to, like, everything. And this entire, like, area is absolutely beautiful. I mean, there's no way that you can look at this and not say that it's cool. I mean, look. Wow. I love how it feels so filled in and they have a little... Whoa, that gets that goes a lot deeper than I thought it would. A well over here to get their water. They grow melons up here, so at least they, they have a way to sustain themselves. And then they're also connected to the other uh, sides of the canyon uh, where, where they farm more stuff up here. They have wolves that guard their stuff. They have cacti out the sides. And then, you know, some really cool intricate building styles. I'll see, I'll say this is some of the more intricate building styles as a, like, like, this is very unique. And then they have a weird like tarp coming over the top over here. I really like this build style. Um, like I've never really seen a house like this in Windcraft. Um, and so I think this is super, super cool. And again, that city, that little town looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm not going to just like, it's not just there on its own. You have this house over here and like, you know, the settlers like again it feels so lived in so full and just teeming with a, a ton of life this is where like you know because the whole Rymek area is known for for the bandits right when you think of Rymek you think of the bandits living down in Rymek the gigantic Rymek city but no there's also just normal settlements here on top of the canyon that people just like they live their best life oh these wolves they they their sound does not help. Look how lived in and how full this house feels. It feels like almost real, like the way that they fill it up. And of course, you, like an open uh, planned roof, because of course in a desert or a canyon, it doesn't rain that much necessarily. So they can have that. Um, again, these houses, look, look, look at this. They, they have like a little, like you walk through it. Isn't that so cool? It's like a little garage or a little storage area. You got a little downstairs up here. You have a, a little ladder to the upstairs. I keep seeing him hunting around here, shooting the coyotes with that crazy weapon of his. I hope he leaves us alone. Is that talking about me? <laughs> Is that his diary entry? I love that. I love how they just incorporate like little tiny, like little, little stuff like that. That's actually so cool. Um, okay, and then there's also that town in the middle that I really want to get to. So, let's get to it, because I've never been there either, um, until very recently. So, I'm going to go ahead and get me over there. Okay, so, uh, and let's go over here to, to this town. And again, if you ever have a chance to explore the top of the canyon, it's definitely worth it. It's so cool. Um, let's go check out this town up here. Okay, we come up. It's weird that you do have to go through the mines before you actually get to the top of the city. But, uh, it's definitely doable. And again, this is so unique. Like, this build style in particular, I've never seen anywhere else. This kind of is trying to emanate a sort of Nemrak vibe for me. Um, but it's not fully Nemrak, you know what I mean? Um, because again, it's not like a swampy area. It's more dry and of course everyone has like there's cacti growing these dry leaves everywhere and also Where do they get their water? There is a spring here a water uh, feature here, right? So this is how they they grow their civilization because there's no way you have a big civilization without nearby water source, right? Every big civilization has a large water source next to it because that's how they uh, get get water to their people and so this looks absolutely amazing as a town. Um, look at these houses and I'm sure the, oh, again, a, there's a tool merchant here. Let's see how the homes on the inside are built. Again, th so this is a bit more open. They have like a little study. They have a little upstairs, which is the, look at that, a nice little kitchen, a bedroom. Aw, oh, dude, this feels so homely. I love this place. Um, honestly, this is one of like the coolest little side places in the game that you will probably never go to. There is no quest up here. None. Zero. Like, at all. Um, and look, they have another pond over here. They have a second pond. And, oh, and then this is where they have their... Their horses. 
Okay, so the horses have a pond to drink from and stuff. Dude, that is so awesome, bro. I personally love this. I don't know what you think. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever been here before? That's the question I want to leave you guys off with. Have you ever been here before and explored this area? Because honestly, I doubt many of you have. Because there's no quests here. There's no mobs to fight here that are necessarily that good. I guess you could fight the wolves, but you, you, would, you would have never come here. So let me know if you've come here or the town next to it. The, the one with the green roofed houses i'm very curious what you guys uh think of that and yeah i'm gonna let you guys go thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i catch you in the next one bye bye